Hi, my name is Cynthia Gallo, and I will be presenting to you the basic elements of Business Process Modeling Notation, or also known as BPMN. First off, let's define what BPMN is. BPMN is a core set of elements used to provide businesses with a graphical representation of their processes. This helps businesses understand their internal business procedures through graphical notation. BPMN is considered the most universal notation used by businesses today. Please refer to your handout for specifics to how BPMN was developed. BPMN offers two versions, a core notation set and an extended notation set. In this presentation, we will only focus on the core notation set. Core BPMN symbols consist of the following, activities, events, and gateways, which are flow objects. A sequence flow, a message flow, and an association are connecting objects. A data object is an artifact, and a pool with swim lanes is considered a swim lane. Let's define the symbols located under flow objects. A rounded rectangle is an activity representing work that a business performs. A circle is an event which occurs during the course of a business process. It can also represent a point in time. A diamond represents a gateway, which shows a divergence or convergence of a sequence flow. It could also indicate a split or merge in activities, as well as a decision to be made. The symbols under connecting objects consist of the following. An arrow represents a sequence flow which is the order of activities that will be performed in a process. A dashed arrow represents a message flow, which shows a flow of messages between organizations, departments, people, and other items. A line represents an association, which associates text or other annotations to activities or arrows on the diagram. A data object is considered an artifact because it doesn't affect process flow of sequences or messages. It is typically used to provide information necessary for an activity's production. A pool with swim lanes helps provide the context for a set of activities. The sections located to the left of the lanes can be used to represent departments, roles, or participants, while the lanes themselves can be used for activities and flows. Here are a few discussion questions. Does using BPMN provide the most accurate process diagram for a company? What kind of mistakes can occur when utilizing this method? And have you used BPMN in your current or previous work environment? What were your outcomes in applying this method of notation? If you haven't used BPMN before, is there any specific work process you would find BPMN useful? Below are the references used throughout this presentation. Thank you so much for watching.